Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I am going to finally be working on getting my spare tire mounted. So cutting out the foam and getting it mounted into the hatch area. Um, got a road trip coming up in a month and a half, heading down to California and going to Toyota Fest. And I want to have my spare tire mounted into the car for that trip. So um, today's the day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and get that mounted in so I don't have to worry about it and mark that off my checklist before the trip. So I have everything kind of pulled out of the, <clears throat> the hatch area and I just put the, the spare in there to give me an idea. I had a piece of cardboard from um, when I had ordered my winters from Tire Rack that I had kept. It's a little smaller though um, in diameter than the donut spare, but it'll give me an idea <coughs> that I can use to kind of trace it. So I'm just kind of seeing where, <coughs> where it's going to sit and, uh, and fit in there. I know it fits just from seeing what other people have done. And, uh, but I am going to cut the foam. I'm not, I'm keeping this car, so I'm not worried about, um, not having the, the foam piece in there and uh i'll put i do have i had already purchased a, a jack and tools and stuff down in there so i'll go ahead and put the, the jack in in this compartment right here and use this for the other stuff and uh and plus you know there's the cubby cubby space over here and over on this side too and even within the well of the wheel so anyway so this is where i'm at and uh, we'll go from here. So I'll, I'm going to get the wheel, the foam marked off and start cutting. And from what I understand, it's uh, quite a mess. Okay, so I've got, you can kind of see it here. I've got the, the rough markings on the foam. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull the foam out and start making my initial cuts. And then I'll see if I need to... Um, or how I need to adjust it from that point on. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this sucker out and we'll make the first cuts and we'll start testing. Okay, I got the first cut. So the piece is out. So I haven't smoothed out anything or whatnot. So, cause now I gotta make sure that I get the sizing right and then I'll smooth it out and make it look nicer. But I used, Three different blades. I used a just a hacksaw blade. I actually took it off my hacksaw. I used this that worked pretty well too because the blade was long enough to get through everything. It was a fine tooth blade, and I also used a drywall blade that had a nice point on it, so it was able to plunge in places that I wanted to do that. So, but between the three of them got through it. This was the hardest spot right here because it's so thick and for pretty much that whole curvature there. So, but now I'm going to put it in. Let's see if, how close I am. And we have success. So one little, one little tip is these pieces right here will make you think that you need more room, but they're actually higher on the outside right here and they're indented so if you put the tire in this side first and then lay it down it will fit and you don't you you might think you have to keep shaving when you actually don't so there we have it so now I can try to smooth out the sides a little bit and make it look a little prettier but it's in this is where I'm at. I actually had a roll a piece of Dyna liner that I'd never used. So I decided to put it in there just as some extra kind of padding and a little bit of noise control. 
Not sure how much of a difference that'll make, but put it in anyway. So pretty much over the whole in the whole hatch area on the floor there. So so I've got that in. I'm gonna start testing the tire fitment and um, foam pieces and getting that uh, level now. So here we are with the foam. I had a 120 grit sanding block. So I just kind of took it to that and kind of smoothed it out all the way around. So I'm gonna test fit the tire now. I mean, I know it fits, but I'll see how wobbly it is and what I need to do. So here is my almost complete install. So very, very close. I've got, I've got to screw in the D ring on the back. I do have it and I've drilled out the hole for it. So I just need to mount that and I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to cut a hole in this, right in this area to loop that through. And it's still a little snug right here. Right here, I'm still a little tighter than I want to be. So I need to shave off a little bit more here just by sanding a little bit there. And other than that though, I kind of did a dry run for fitment for everything. So got the tire jack there, first aid kit there. All the rest of my tools are in the bag that I had already bought and fits in there. So um, yeah, so I'm very, very close. So a little more, I think a little more sanding in that one area. And then it's just a matter of screwing on the strap for the D-ring and putting that over it and we'll be golden. So very close to the final. Next thing you'll see will be the final thing done. Okay, screwed in the D-ring. It's just a universal D-ring that I picked up. Ran the strap through it. I cut a little slot in this for the strap so I'm going to go ahead and get the foam in there and then mount the tire and see if everything fits so I ended up using I don't really think I needed to put this here I noticed some other people put some foam but this is just kind of a, an insulating pad um, that I had saved. Um, and so it weighs nothing, but it's really soft. And uh, it'll just, if nothing else, it'll just help absorb any additional noise. So I kind of cut it out in the shape of the, the recessed area right here. And so the tire was kind of staying where it needed to be with the with the center hub kind of resting right here but um i put that there just uh just in case and i cut a little slot in the foam and slotted the top of it just for the strap to to rest there so i'm going to go ahead and put the tire in now and see how everything looks okay i got the got the tire it's in there just fine so this is taking up a, a little bit. The padding's just helping fill some of the gaps there. So that's fine. Like I said, it doesn't add any weight or anything. And the Duraliner that I put down too is super light. It really doesn't add anything. And uh, so now I can strap it down. I did not add another tie down here like some people did. I don't use this one anyway, so. Um, if I ever feel like I need to do that, then I can do that. And uh, so I put everything else back in. I do have my toolkit bag that I bought for here. And uh, I've got another idea too. I think I'm going to cut out just for some 
more stability over because the the piece that lies over this whole area is not that solid so i think i'm going to cut out um, something just to give an extra bit of support over this like this provides so i'm going to look at some ideas there see what i have so a couple of things in my bag i've got my tools that i need in there i wrap those so they didn't get banged around and i've got my inflator i also picked up a, a repair kit a tubeless repair kit just in case i was out somewhere and i picked up something that i could actually um pat or plug it and then also for this i did test fit this and it uses believe it or not it it uses the OEM short shank lug nuts. So I put five of them in a bag and I will stick them. Actually, I think I'm gonna stick them right here because then they won't rattle around. And uh, so that'll be good. I'll put this in there too. I'm gonna get another towel and I'm gonna wrap this just to protect it. And that'll be good to go. Well, I am feeling very good now everything tucked away and spare fits great so and then i even thought i wanted to put something just to give a, a more flat platform and the piece of cardboard that i got when tires were shipped actually will do great so i'm gonna put the pieces back in and see how that uh, works out. Here is the final thing before the cover. I ended up just cutting this because the cover doesn't come all the way here. And I didn't like the way the cardboard stuck out and you could see it. So the tire disappears more. So I just sliced that off, nice clean edge. And uh, so now it should look just like it did before. All right, guys, you can't tell the difference from before when it was uh, not there. So everything's put back together, everything looks good. The only clue is being able to see the edge of the spare. So, and uh, so obviously that doesn't bother me at all. Absolutely love having the protection of having the spare tire in there. And you can see the one tie down with the strap on it and everything is good to go so thank you much guys appreciate it hope everything uh or hope this helps others and you guys can kind of see how i did it and anything different i did and uh any questions comments anything like that sure would appreciate um anything and i really would appreciate you guys um subscribing and uh liking sharing please uh please do it just takes a second and it, it means means a lot to me and uh seeing the channel grow so it it uh makes me feel good when i see that and it uh you know when i see people watching and looking at it but they don't do anything um i always uh always wonder why so you know it does take some time and effort to do these so i would sure love it if uh if you just take the few seconds it takes to hit the subscribe button and like button and and share it with some of your friends so you know a lot of cars nowadays don't come with a spare tire and i don't know about a lot of other cars but i would imagine that a lot of them there's some way to make a spare tire fit and uh you get a blowout you're you're kind of screwed so um i don't have to worry about that now so once again thank you guys and until next time We'll see you down the road.